Hey guys, it's Mike. This weekend we're at Greenleaf State Park in eastern Oklahoma. It's uh, near the town of Braggs or Gore or Weber's, Weber's Falls, Ten Killer, all that stuff. Uh, we've never been here, but we, we heard that it's a really good uh, lake for kayaks and that the fishing's pretty good. Now granted, it's the second half of July in 2021 and it's, it's hotter than the seventh plane of hell. So do I really think the fish are going to bite? Probably not. But then again, I'm not very good at fishing either. I love fishing, but I'm not very good at it. Um, this is our new camper. This is a introduction, but it's also a six month review. We've had this camper six months now and it is a it's a, made by Forest River it's a Rockwood Mini Light 2104S super super compact camper but it's really packed with features and I'm gonna kinda give you guys a little walk around and uh, show you some of the stuff we absolutely love it uh, if, you, if you follow the channel you know that we had a, a two-door Wrangler and then we had our uh, 2009 Commander. Well, we got back from Colorado last year and I decided that I wanted to get something a little different and I wanted to get, I follow a, well let me back up, I follow a guy on YouTube and his channel is uh, Slim Potato Head. Uh, I'll put a link to, to his channel right here. Um, Slim's, uh, he's Canadian, uh, but he travels uh, Canada, U.S., all that stuff, and he pull, he had a little trailer, let me start that over again, he had a little trailer that was called an A-liner, <clears throat> excuse me, it's kind of like a, kind of like a pop-up camper, but it's an A-frame, and I always thought that was really neat because you get the benefit of having a pop-up where it's real small and compact and it tows really easy and you can get into some really good spots with it but you pop it up and you got a place you can stand up and all that stuff so I, I was leaning towards that that was really all I wanted and the the campground that we stayed at in Colorado last year all it had f uh, for bathroom facilities was vault toilets that camping trip made the decision for my wife. I just didn't realize it. We were we were talking one afternoon, and uh, I told her my idea, and she said some, something something to, to the effect of, "It sure would be nice to have a real bathroom and a shower, you know, all that, you know, all the not necessarily the luxury bells and whistles, but a little bit a little bit higher on the the camping ladder than we were before." that got my that got my wheels turning and I remembered seeing uh, a commercial because I didn't at first I didn't like the new Jeep Gladiator I, I didn't like it I thought it was too long well um, anyway and I'm an I own a Jeep accessories company uh, but then I found out that the Jeep Gladiator could tow 7500 pounds that's a lot for a Jeep that is a lot so that really got my wheels turning and I, I told her about it so one you know one thing led to another we uh, went and we traded in the two-door and got a new gladiator with max tow package and then we started looking for one of these now this being the middle of the pandemic hardly anything was in stock anywhere that didn't matter if it was a kayak it didn't matter if it was a camper even even my old man pipe tobacco you know nothing was in stock last year so finally after about a month month and a half of searching and well that and trying to pick the one that we wanted we found this one that I'm standing in now we found it in Louisiana so we did the deal over the phone as much as we could then uh, my wife and I jumped in the Jeep and we drove to Louisiana, signed her name on the dotted line, and brought it home. Now, let me tell you what's cool. First of all, 
we'll show you here in a second too. Got a bathroom. Got this nice slide out that my daughter has a full a, a full size bed. And what you can't see, and I'll we'll, we'll give you a tour. We have a couch right here, but the couch is also like a futon that lays down and has a Murphy bed, a comfortable Murphy bed. Uh, you know, we've got a nice ice box, freezer, pantry, sink, stove, microwave, big screen. Let's uh let's give you a tour. So guys, we've got a full bathroom now with a, a nice shower with glass around. And I'm I'm six foot three. And I can take a shower. So that was like my first thing when we were going around when we were going around and looking at RVs and stuff, it was like my first thing was to go uh, see if I'd fit in the shower. And good deal. The stove is really cool. It's got a nice uh, glass top on it. So, you know, in, a, in an RV, you're really limited on uh, your counter space. Whereas this one, they did it really well. It's got a nice, uh, it's an L-shaped kitchen. But you can use this as uh, extra prep space, which one of the one of the little things I, I thought was cool was the little knife. You know, the, the having enough foresight to put a little knife rack, I, I just think those little touches are great. So, you know, when you're ready to use the stove, you just flip it up and you got a three burner stove. Uh, you can bake a pizza or a birthday cake or anything in the oven below. We've, we've done both. Um, it's great. I love it. Now coming around from the stove, you know, the L-shaped kitchen, you've got a two, two sinks. And then this is a really cool feature. Even more space. I thought that was really cool. Uh, and you just lock it in. Just like a folding table. Now you got even more space. Another little nice touch. Two outlets, two USB outlets. So you can charge your phone right there or whatever you have that you might need. And we plug the coffee maker in right here and plug it in. It works out really well. This is the front of the camper and they have a little couch and the couch actually the, uh, the footrest recline. Um, I don't, it's not really my cup of tea but my wife likes to use it. Then when you're ready to make the bed out you just put the couch flat and the Murphy bed comes down. Um, you got a wardrobe over here. You got a wardrobe over there. Each one has a drawer. It's got a privacy curtain as well, so but we don't use it. So if I can talk my wife into helping me, I'll show you how the bed comes down and how it works too. But I'm going to put a whole bunch of B-roll in. So this is this is a really cool camper, and we're really happy with it. And. Uh, the people at uh, Sinla RV down in Alexandria, Louisiana, they really did as well. I'm really happy with, with it. Wasn't like when you go buy a new car or something, you, you leave the dealership and you're happy with the car, but you're angry with the salesperson, you know. About this place, it was it was real nice. They were real friendly and helpful. So that's just a that's just a shout out to them.